Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And today we're going to talk about how to add patterns to your print and cut images using a new feature in Design Space uh, for print and cut. And it's a lot of fun and it really adds a lot of more dimension to your print and cut projects than just picking colors. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to insert a basic shape just for us to play with and give you a general overview here before we get a little more complicated. So I just create, I'm just grabbed a circle, okay? So over here in my features panel, I want to go and you notice that this is now set to cut, right? Because it's just a in uh, image that we inserted. So I'm going to click on that and I want to change this to a print then cut file, right? So we just change it to that and now you'll notice it says that it changed to print. All right. Now you will now also notice instead of just picking a color like we normally can, let's say I wanted to make it purple, all I'd have to do is hit one of the color features or use my custom color here and I could change this to a color and then it would print that color on my home printer and then I would be able to cut it using my Cricut Explorer, right? But there's a new feature and it's called patterns. So we're going to hit patterns and guess what? Yes, now we can make all these cool patterns that we can add to our Cricut images and really spice them up using the print and cut feature okay so this is think of this as digital scrapbook paper so maybe instead of cutting out a complete shape out of scrapbook paper you may want to do some print and cut projects on stickers for your planners or um, maybe birthday party stickers to put on uh, gift bags or anything like that um, this is a great feature to know about. So now that we have patterns up, let's look down here. We can scroll through and you'll see that they say whether they're subscribed or if there's a fee for them. So there are, um, we're going to go into filter and you can upload your own images, which I will show you that. So you can upload your own patterns, I meant to say, your own digital patterns. I will show you how to do that in a minute. You can also, um, there are ones that, that you can purchase and you see that because it says, you know, 99 cents or whatever on them. Then you have some that are part of the Cricut uh, Design Space Library that are part of the subscription. So those say the word subscribe underneath them. And then there are even a few free images and uh, patterns for you to use, okay? You can also filter these based on maybe you just want to see all the ones that are free. Okay, it'll go through... Here's some, and they say the word free on them. You could click on that, and lo and behold, look, it has now changed your print and cut image to one of the free patterns, all right? Now, we can go down here, and uh, we could also, I'm going to, if you un, if you click on that again, it takes that pattern uh, selection filter away, okay? But the pattern's still on there, all right, on the shape. But I could also do it by say I want orange it would go through and find patterns that have orange on them already and then I could just let's see we'll click this one and look it's changed that pattern so this is really fun you can go in and play with all kinds of lot fun things with this all right I think this one's really cute um, okay so you can obviously go down here to filter and you can filter it based on your ownership level like you do with your Cricut images. You do the same thing with your Cricut, um, with your patterns, okay? And you can then sort them by what colors you want to look at and so forth, okay? So that's one way to do it. The other way is if there's a button down here called collections. And when you click on collections, it actually has it broken down by if it's, let's say we want to look at just florals. We know we want something flowery, but we don't know what color we want it to be, but we'd like something flower, you know, more floral. So 
you look how cute that is that's really cute so you can scroll through and find patterns that are more floral to use okay so that's really fun so you can go through it's really it's really a lot of fun just to play with this and then uh, this works just like you have any of your other Cricut images that you go in and you uh, change to uh, print and cut images okay gosh you can even change it into this beautiful looking real roses here okay so that's really fun so you can go in play with this it's a lot of fun and um, this is working with the basic shapes okay so I'm going to just move this one here out of the way and now let's say we just we uh, this is just a dog I just typed in dog in image search and this is a dog that pulled up same thing doesn't have to be a basic shape I can go in and change him to print then it gives me the option for patterns and then I can let's say let's say I wanted I want to make him a polka dot okay so I can go in and find any of these images that are polka dot and let's say I would like to change it to this okay look how cute that would be print that out as a little sticker or something I think it's really cute so um, anyway so you can do it on any any shapes all right now what do you do when it's more complicated what do you do when it's a layered image like this okay now this is a princess it's in design space I just typed the word princess in and there she was um, and I would like to be able to figure out how can I change the pattern on her dress to um, right now I can change color right I can go in and I can pick her dress and I can change her dress to purple let's say I was going to change her dress to purple that's just changing the color but now I want to change it to a pattern and remember to do that we have to change we have to change uh, the element to a print okay so if we go in and we change it to a print this piece is now a print image and I can select patterns and let's say I want to find I don't want polka dots anymore I would like to find I'm gonna click on that and get rid of the polka dot okay I would like to find something that is purple Can scroll through here and change her dress look how cute that is okay so I can change just a piece of her or I can change uh, different layers of her it's kind of whatever you want to do and then what you need to do is you need to highlight the entire image because this would only work as a print and cut image right so uh, her dress could be printable you could just cut this the back dress the purple one that we changed you could cut just that as a print and cut feature and then add it to your layered images that you're going to cut separately okay so you can do this so all of these pieces her hat and her background and her body and in the crown and this pink part and everything would cut out as cardstock if you want and then this dress that we made a pattern would cut out as an actual print and cut file that then you could you know cut it on um, white cardstock and then print it and cut it out using the print and cut feature and then you could add that in so let's say you don't have a scrub it paper that you want to use you don't have the right scale of pattern or you don't have the right color come use the uh, pattern feature pattern fill feature and create your own paper to use okay now the other thing is we can also just highlight all of her and we can go up here into our feature panel and we can just hit flatten okay now she the whole thing's flattened and she will be she will um, it'll when you do print when you hit go it will actually do print and cut with her okay so um, let me do that let me get rid of these 
so I'm gonna draw it in. Okay, so when I hit go, okay, she's a little bit too big for print and cut. I moved her around. Okay, I'm gonna hit go. And see what I'm saying? Now it'll cut out as a print and cut file with that pattern on her dress. All right. So um, that's really fun. Now I can go in and I can undo all of this. It will take a second to get back to that point since I deleted a bunch of things. Okay. So now I have her back as a um, cut file, right? Because it's all a cut file. All right. But what I was saying earlier was I could pick just her dress. Oh, I have to ungroup her first. Okay. I could pick just I could pick just her dress. Okay. Let me get let me let it give me the dress. Okay. I can pick just the dress and I can change her dress to print and then pick pattern and I could pick that purple pattern for her dress. Okay, and that will make it print and cut. All right, so now let me turn these off. So now when I hit go, oh, sorry, I moved it. I need to group her again. Let me group her again so she's easier to size. Okay, I just want to grab her. I need to go down here to the layers panel and group her. Okay, I need to make her smaller so she'll fit when I do print and cut. So let's say I'm going to make her that big. Okay, now when I hit go, it'll take just a second. Now when I hit go, it's going to only do print and cut for her dress. Okay, see how it's just the dress that we added the pattern to. And then the rest of it is actual a cut file. So all of these would cut out of whatever card stock you're going to use, for instance, okay? So then when you put her together, she would have her little print and cut dress done. So that gives you an idea of how to change those uh, images and add more interest to them by doing that. And I'm thinking making some paper dolls for my granddaughter would be really fun and cute with this. So I may, I may do that. She'll love that. She has a birthday coming up. Um, anyway, so that is using the existing patterns that are in there. Now let's talk about if you want to upload your own pattern. Now remember these are digital papers basically. And so you go into upload image and instead of using images, this is these are for images that are JPEG, GIF, PNG, BMP, SVG, DXX files. These are create your own images for free using base, basic and vector images, right? But what we want to do is we want to do pattern fill. Use your patterns or photos as a fill on any layer. Yes, photos. You can add a photo and use it too. So patterns can be JPEG, GIF, PNG, or BMP. So they will not upload into your image library here. Only your images will. The patterns, it says, you will find them in the layer attributes paddle, pattern panel under patterns. Okay. So I'm going to do upload pattern. I'm going to go click on browse. And I am going to come over here to where I have my digital papers, and I want to go into this one, which is a Lori Whitlock digital paper set. This one's called, um, it's Pink Basics, basically, and it has all these really cute pink patterns, okay? So... Uh, I have, un it came in is a file, a digital paper set that I purchased online from Lori's site. And actually I can even show you, oh I can't do that right now. Because uh, I'm, I'm going to upload. Okay, so I'm going to pick whichever pattern I want to upload. So let's say I want to upload this one. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and click that one to upload. And it's a it's a chevron paper, and it'll take a se it takes a second to process this guy, so don't don't uh, get uh, frustrated with it. All right, so 
the pattern name is required so I always leave it with whatever the pattern name is that the designer gave it and then you get to pick what theme so remember earlier I showed you where it had like collections and themes and you could kind of pick what you want what you're searching for this is where you tell it to put it into those categories the existing categories when you upload your own patterns all right so for this one um, let's see let me see what would we put this under um, well we could certainly do love because it's really cute uh, pink and white and red and we could do maybe wedding um, this one's really good for just about anything I would do um, maybe miscellaneous too and then I can do what styles does this fit in okay so geometric because it's a it's a, uh, a chevron pattern um, you know then you could pick if it's sophisticated or stripes or textured contemporary whatever so you can pick what you want then you get to pick what color zones it goes in so you this could be red and it could be pink okay because the predominantly the pattern the pattern colors are red and pink so then I'm going to say save and this will take a second or two for it to upload and it does give you a warning and it says please do not refresh your browser okay so it will take a second okay now remember earlier I said you will not see it down here in your image library you're only going to find this over in your patterns okay so we need to go back into design space and We'll just add something quick here, just something simple. We'll add that dog. Okay, we're going to insert the dog. I'm making it big so you can see it. Okay, so now we're going to go over here to the dog in our layers panel, attribute panel, and we need to make it to a print, right? And then we can go in and do patterns. All right, now once we do patterns, what I want to do is come down here to filter and I want to filter it on uploaded patterns okay an uploaded pattern should be ones that I that I inc that I put in okay so here are two that I've uploaded they say the word upload underneath them and you can click on the little I and it even tells you what basic set it came from okay and you can do that with all of these they actually have a little eye here where it tells you where what it's from okay so I'm gonna pick that and look it turned my little dog into that and even has the little cutout shape there okay so that is how you upload your patterns you can do the same thing with photos and uh, it's a lot of fun to add those to your images and everything but this is what I wanted to show you today which was um, how to have fun playing with the pattern feature in the print and cut uh, portion of Cricut Design Space. I hope you guys had a lot of fun learning how to do this, and I will talk to you later. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful videos, and leave me any comments or questions, and I will try to answer them. Thanks. Bye.